What's up, guys? It's Barry Denix right here. All right, and we're just going to be making a Nextcloud instance. You can see right here, it's an SSL certificate. So uh, to start out, we're just going to hop right in here into Linode. We're going to just uh, wh uh, whip up a quick instance right here. Okay, let's pick up Ubuntu. Let's go with Georgia. Yeah, let's go with the uh, uh, like the one gig version. And uh, yeah, okay. Call this thing Nextcloud as a label. Mm-hmm. Put our password real quick up in here. Once we do that, yep, yeah, put all my keys in there. And let's create that Linode. Yes, sir. All right. Let's go ahead and copy this. And let's go ahead and throw this inside of GoDaddy. I'm going to do this right inside of my Yopi domain. Let's just go ahead and jump right over into there. All right, I'm gonna have to edit this real quick. I was doing some tests with this other <clears throat> other uh, server real quick, but uh, yeah, we'll just throw that right in there. Save that so we can have that. nc.yopi.co. Now I'm gonna hop right into the terminal like you can see right here. And we're just gonna SSH right inside of that server. First thing we're gonna do, we're just gonna add a user um, uh, this is optional obviously but I would uh, recommend it just gonna throw them passwords right inside of there put my name all right now we're just gonna do a user mod to actually add pseudo privileges all right Cool beans. Now we could just switch right up into there. Now we're just going to update the system real quick. Make sure that we have this uh, new Linode instance up to date. Go ahead and skim through this real quick. Alrighty. Now we're just gonna install curl. It should be installed on your instance, but if not, this is just to make sure. Neat. All right, and uh, this is actually gonna be inside the, uh, the GitHub. Um, uh, this URL is actually gonna be inside of the description, and we're just gonna output this inside of user local Docker bin and Docker compose. And we're just gonna change uh, the privileges on that so it's uh, executable. Like I said before, that's gonna be USR local and bin and Docker compose. <clears throat> now we're just gonna do a link, a symbolic link. And we're just going to go from that uh, Docker compose file to user bin. Docker Compose, yep. And we're just gonna uh, install Docker. I messed up that. Uh, I messed up that Docker .io. And let me just erase that real quick. All right. Now we're just gonna do a user mod so we can actually add the Docker group to my actual user. And now, whenever you see this, you see groups are not actually listening the Docker uh, group, but we're just going to switch back into root and then actually switch back into my user. And you, uh, you're just going to have to do this to actually show the groups. And if I type that in real quick, you'll be able to see the Docker group is actually inside of there. Now we're just actually seeing what version we have. So Docker Compose version, making sure it's actually working. You can see we have 2.18.1 and our Docker version is 20.10.21. And now we're just cloning this repository right here and I'm actually gonna have a link inside of the description for this next cloud instance. This is uh, with the SSL, it pretty much takes care of everything for you. And we are gonna have to add a Docker network to actually make this work. So you're just gonna do docker network create nginx-proxy. 
And with that being done, we're just gonna have to CD inside of that directory that we actually pulled down from GitHub. Now we can actually edit this docker-yaml or docker-compose.yaml file. Now you're obviously gonna have to put your own domain and your own email inside of here. But I'm gonna throw mine in there real quick. My nc.eop.co. And just throw my email right down in here. Plop that thing down. And you are going to want to actually change these passwords for your MySQL database because that is not very secure. Now we're just going to do docker compose up dash D and this does take a minute to actually get set up and going. You can actually see we have my browser down here trying to look it up. It ain't ready yet though. Two hours later. All right, let's refresh that one more time. All right, now that we're inside of here, and I didn't actually, hey, you're gonna have to put your user and um, you're actually creating your user and your password, make that very secure. And you can see we're actually right inside the next pod. You can add all this stuff. Don't get worried if this ends up doing this. Just look it right up again. So for us, that's going to be nc.eop.kit. <clears throat> and there you go. We got ourselves a new Nextcloud instance. Uh, if you guys ended up liking the video, like the video. If you disliked it, disliked it. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, I ended up helping you guys out. And peace.